we kind of stayed after school and everybody brought their best clothes and we tried it on and we walked and practiced and basically that's all we did to put on this show tonight. Oh wow, thank you so much. I was really going to talk to her. She is an amazing dancer. I saw her dance tonight. I was like, oh my goodness. Tell us about your love for Africa and how you plan on extending this love and showing other people how great your culture really is. Um, Africa is life for me. I mean, my parents are from Ghana. A lot of our parents, all of our here are from, you know, different countries. Some of us were born here, some of us weren't. So Africa and being African is like a big part of our lives, a big part of who, are, who we are. And whenever I dance, that's what I, I mean, that's what I think of. I think of like natural rhythms. I think of, you know, just being in root in touch with my African roots. And I think that's what everyone here does. You know, that's what we all do. We just, we get in touch with who we are, like, you know, our ancestry and whatnot. Oh, I loved it. I loved I loved looking at you dance. You did such an amazing job. I want to talk to the guys because when they did come out for the fashion show, everyone was screaming. So they're definitely the stars of the organization. They're definitely the stars of, of this school. It's been a long time since I was in high school, so it kind of gave me a lot of memories. How do you feel about the whole being you present in Africa when you came out here presented not just you but African men in this type of fashion? What did you think about that? Um, it was really cool. I'm, I'm actually not, like, African. I'm just, I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah, I liked, I liked doing it. It was nice. So do you love the African culture? Yeah. What exactly about it excites you? You know, you're not even African, yet you came out here representing Africa in such an amazing way. What exactly about it excites you? I like the clothes, the music, the dancing, all of it. I need y'all to tell me something else. You had the girls screaming out here. What's going on? I know he is. I, you had the girls screaming. What's going on? What's going on here? Nothing. It's just the music, and when you get just getting the groove because the music is real good in the clothes the light the colors of the clothes oh really so are you the star of the african organization going here on campus i wouldn't say the star but like i enjoy what i do <laughs> that's fun that's fun Woo um did you play the instruments that's oh my goodness he did oh yes i have to talk to him i have seen a professional just in high school and he was amazing how did you come about such talent uh i guess because of my love for music i mean i listen to music 24 7 so it just flows to me naturally yeah, and i just guess I, I think i'll just like blow that through the guitar and i just do what i do <laughs> wow were you all like family because it looked like you had your entire family just having a great and amazing band going on uh yeah i mean these guys are him especially he's a really good bassist uh that little kid from middle school he's a really good yeah tell me that dude is amazing on the drum so i uh, guess i mean Perfect wow, Tony, I really have to talk to you in middle school. He played the drums so perfectly well. You would think he's a professional. Tell us about your talent. How did you get started? Um, well, when I was young, I always desired, desired to play the drums. And then once I started growing up, I started going along with it. and started playing for my church. So that's what I do now. Oh, wow. How did you learn how to play the bass guitar? Because you're really good. Um, I started out on guitar, like lead, the one that he was playing, and I just picked it up and started playing at church. And so. Oh, wow. I'm so inspired being here today. I just want you all to come out and give a shout out for your high school because you all did such a great job. This is High Tower High School. Tonight was an amazing packed with African knowledge, African evening, African fashion, African dance. Can you all just give me a shout out for your high school? One, two, three, go. to cover all the event. Thank you so much, and I'm your host again, Miracle Edison. Thank you. Bye.
I'm your host, Miracle Edison, and tonight I'm at Hightower with the best teacher of the year, amazing African teacher, Ms. Voke. She practically put everything together. Please tell us your name, everything that you've done into putting this organization together, because it was more than exceptional. Thank you. Well, um, I'm just the African dance troupe sponsor, but um, I'm actually a math teacher at Hightower, and this was by no means all me. This was the whole school. It was, a, it was definitely a collaborative effort with the whole school. My principal, all the way from uh, my principal to my colleagues, to the student bodies around, all did a wonderful job. The, uh, the arts department helped to coordinate the um, artwork that we saw in the gallery. Um, with the art teacher's name, Miss Agar. Miss Ellis was a theater um, teacher, and she helped the, uh, the students manage the lighting and the stage and all of that. Now, I give, I'd really like to give a shout out to so many people. Um, my principal secretary, Miss Hidalgo, she was just so awesome, giving us everything we needed. Um, Miss B, just so much. And the African experience is really supposed to just be a learning, learning experience and hopefully allow the students to be able to express themselves. I just wanted to ask you one question. What would you tell other parents who are watching you? What would you tell them to encourage them to get their kids involved in programs like this? I think that programs like this actually allow the children to express themselves. And when they express themselves in a positive way like this, they feel more like they belong to a place. So this really creates a sense of belonging and um, ownership. Oh, wow, I'm so inspired listening to you. I just feel like you're impacting the students so much more. I mean, tell us, what are the experience, what are the excitement, what are the different things that you, you view in the, in the students as they learn about Africa? Well, like I said, a lot of them, may, their, their parents may be from there, but they know very little about the history. They, they like the music and things like that, but we always try to give them a learning experience. And so one of the things I've seen is that they've grown you know, in their organization and even with their pride. Uh, initially, they didn't want to associate with African dance. Like when they first heard about it, it was like, what's that, you know? But now we have more members, the, the you know, they, they're so willing to be involved. Oh, wow, thank you so much. Do you want to say anything to anyone there, any advice, any, any, anything that's special about your high school and just give us a close in of, of what's going on here? Please allow allow your students to get involved in cultural events like this. It is really great. I also really would like to give a shout out to NBC Millennium Broadcasting Station for really taking out the time to be here. They're the number one African station in the United States. And we really thank them for their support for events like this. And this is just such a privilege to have you guys here at our program. Thank you, NBC. Thank you so much. You've heard it from the number one teacher, the best teacher of the year. She deserves it. She works so hard. Thank you so much, NBC. If you do have any events going on in your community, let us know, and we'll be there to cover the event and definitely give a shout-out to you. Thank you so much, NBC, for always coming out. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed African students of Hightower High School in Houston, from the fashion show to the dance to the talented ones on the musical instruments. It's always fun watching young ones showcase their talent. Let's always encourage our kids. Next time you have a community event going on, call an NBC and we'll be there to cover you. See you soon. Thank you for watching.